So, I mean, there's, uh, there's different ways of playing it. So, another goalie, <laughs> Paul Cacateras, told me, so say Nick's in front of the cage. All right, here's another thing that I taught, and I, and I, I do this once a game. I will, I will completely not go for a fake. So, Johnny Christmas and Mikey Powell are playing against me today. So, what am I going to do? Once they make their first fake on their first game, I'm going to be like, I didn't even see the fake. And a lot of times, shooters will be like, why didn't he just dip with me, or why didn't he go hot? So Nick's going to come around the corner. He's going to make like a few quick fakes. This is how I choose to play it, all right? I'm athletic. You see how I was up, but I didn't even commit. So go ahead and fake low, all right? I'll go like this. Uh, I'm, all right, I'm making my stick big, but I'll, like he doesn't see it. He's like, why didn't he dip low? And then he usually shoots right into my stick. Does that make sense? And it's a crazy concept. I learned in eighth grade, I'm like, no way if a guy, so say he's in front of the cage in center, there's no way I'm going to go ahead and say he fakes left. I'm going to stay like this, but you know what? That's what I do, but I don't do it every single play. And again, it's, a, it's a, you're, you're taking a gamble, but you're going to know the attack when you're playing against too, right? Every attackman at your age, eighth grade, at least is going to drop his hands, lift his shoulder, look away at least once, right? It's, it's, a, it's a gamble you take, but at least at the same time, if he fakes here, my body weight is going here, so if he actually follows through with the shot, I can get there, all right? So.